Eric and Dion, it's hard to picture by looking at all this mess behind me that 75 year old Susan Gordon slid about 200 yards underneath all of this debris, but she did and she still can't believe it either. Uh. Susan Gordon doesn't look like what she's been through. Many wouldn't have expected her to even survive Sausalito's Thursday morning mudslide. But to have just some scratches and bruises, incredible. It seems like the whole world has questions for her now. What did it sound like? A roar. A big lion, a big, big roar. What did it feel like? It tumbled and tumbled and tossed and smashed into things and tumbled and tumbled until it stopped. And I was deep, knee deep up to here in, in mud. Gordon was inside her duplex that slid about 200 yards downhill and crashed into another home. A neighbor heard her screams. And he found me. And he kept saying, wave your hand, wave your hand. I was waving my hand and waving my hand. The process to get her out was nothing short of painstaking. And until Gordon sat down with us, she hadn't seen the wreckage. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. I went through that? Gordon lost everything, including her cat Peaches. Oh, a friend that I share the house with said that you just have to look at her as she was the angel that saved you. Gordon has plenty of others coming to her rescue right now. The work to heal both her and Sausalito is well underway. Eric and Dion, we've also really watched the community step up to help Gordon here. Her GoFundMe already over $38,000 there. And on Monday, the Sausalito City Council will be holding a special meeting at 9 o'clock to declare a local emergency that will allow them to receive funds for all the cleanup work that needs to be done here. For now, reporting live in Sausalito, Jovina Fortson, ABC 7 News. Amazing. Jovina, thanks.